bringing you your December tarot scopes. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope November treated you well. Hope you've seen those 2018 videos that I have already posted up there for you. If you're interested in one of those, please hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. So let's talk about December. What's going on? Today is December 1st. Um, Super excited about what it has to bring for us. On the third, we have the full moon in Gemini. There's also a video talking about that too. You should check it out. Um, interesting energy that we have going on. Then we have a new moon entering into Sagittarius on the December 18th. On the 19th, Saturn will be moving into Capricorn. As well, on the 21st, the sun moves into Capricorn. On the 22nd, um, Mercury finally goes direct, and I'm sure we will all be glad. Communication will improve, travel will improve just in time for the holidays. And on the 25th, Venus is going to enter into Capricorn. So with all of this energy that's out there, I think that it's going to be really important for us to slow down a little bit, look at the things that we've accomplished this year, give ourselves a good pat on the back, and kind of start thinking about what we need to start doing for this new year coming up instead of waiting till New Year's Eve. Let's start planning now. Let's look at what's going on now and how to harness this energy. So with that being said, there's also some changes that will be coming to my channel. There will be some difference in prices, so be sure to click on the description box to see what's going on with that. My prices will continue at the same rate for the rest of December and they will change in January. So let's see what the cards have for us today. Um, and this will be for a whole, just kind of um, looking at a general energy that we have. Let me turn them this way so I won't look. <laughs> Exploration. This is going to be a month of really looking at the path in front of us, seeing what's ahead of us, where we're going, what we're doing, and how we can do things differently. You see the compass at the top of the card? You have to use your moral compass. Capricorn is in full effect. You know he's the big daddy of the planetary system. So you got to get yourself together, baby. Get it together. Find your path. Choose what works for you. Have lots of lots of unconditional love for yourself and for others. And with all of that, big, big hugs, fam. Be blessed. Have a safe holiday. And if you're interested in a read, hit me up. I am looking forward to connecting with you guys. Be blessed. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and subscribes, and this big, huge spike that we're having. So with that being said, happy holidays, and thank you. Hello, Scorpio. It's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your December Tarot Scopes. I want to apologize immediately for my voice. I have been doing so many reads this weekend that my voice is gone. So if you have not received your read, trust me, it's coming. I'm just like so behind. The holidays got me and I'm losing my voice. So bear with me. I got some Scorpio, you were the last video I made. I have not enjoyed my full moon vibes yet, but I am finally having some vivations with uh, a little bit of rum and um, a diet Dr. Pepper. I know, it's all I had. I know it's probably not clean living, but I, needed a, I need a break. I need a break, guys. So you might get a little bit of a slip of the tongue and you might get a little bit of entertainment tonight because I'm feeling a little loosey-goosey already. So, with that being said, big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty. And watch out now, because I've been drinking shoulder rugs, Scorpio. But I can do that with you, because y'all are the like y'all are the freak of the group, okay? Y'all are my homies, alrighty? Anyways, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to join with you. I hope that you either like, share, or maybe even just damn dirty subscribe, right? So let's talk about our power animal that's looking us right in the eye right now. You have got the eye of the tiger, you know, you are in full effect. You are ready. You are dominating the scene. You're doing this all by just having a presence. And this lion that's in this picture right here, this is a representation of the courage that you're going to have to harness, the energy that you're going to have to use, the sun energy that you're going to be harboring. I don't even know, understand why the sun energy is being shined on you that way. But it actually looks like the sun from your exploration is coming into this picture. And it's like really highlighting your beautiful hair 
and the fact that your eyes are on what needs to be seen. The thing about a lion, guys, is they don't just attack to attack. So I kind of feel like you might get tested this month, Scorpio. Hey, it is the holidays. It brings out the best and the worst in us, okay? <laughs> but I kind of feel like... Um, don't test me is what I keep hearing. Don't test me. Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. And I, I legit feel like you don't want to react. But the thing about a lion, because I'm a Leo, is when we fight, we don't fight for someone to say, oh, man, that really hurt. We fight till you don't get up. Okay, you're not getting up if you fight with me. I know I sound a little crazy when I say that, but like, I don't want you to get up and kick my ass after we have a fight. So I'm one of those people that when I fight, I'm like, we're going to fight till nobody gets up. And it's been a long time since I've had one of those drag down moments. Anyways, that's that lion energy, but courage, braveness, loyalty, expressing your heart, following your heart, listening to your heart, and also being regal in all that you do. I also feel like it's going to be very important for you to empower your children this month if you have kids because of the energy that's coming in for you. They view you as something very important. So Scorpio, empower your children. Teach them their power and their grace and how to handle every situation like a damn dirty king or queen. All right. Now, coming in mentally for you is the spirit of initiation and you're not alone on this journey so choose your path okay this is attributed to the butterfly for me and um when i first got these cards i really struggled with them because i was like damn i don't really understand these cave arts so i had to really sit with them and really talk to them but this is the gift of vision this is welcoming the transformation welcoming the change and um just know that you're not alone that you're being guided and, and don't freak out by otherworldly beings that can give you initiation. It's kind of like they're saying, come on, Scorpio, let's do the damn thing. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go change the world. And I feel like that's legit what you're doing in December. You are changing your world. And as you change your world, you are you're like sending ripples through the water all the way to other people's worlds. Now, when I wanted to clarify what the spirit of initiation was really trying to tell you, Shapeshifter came out. And in this card, I don't know if you can see the deer and the moon. It's the full moon tonight. It's December 3rd. Ha ha, we're spending the full moon together, guys. And we have right here this beautiful elk, right? This deer. The deer is all about unconditional love, being truthful, being honest. But I also feel like there's going to be some illumination in your life. There's going to be some things coming to the forefront. And this card chose you because it wants you to know that your past does not equal your future. Simply changing your point of view or your belief system can change your whole identity and your destiny so you're initiating this change you're going to become more brave you're going to take more risk and that leads us right there to that body card with the sacred power deck called exploration which was the overall reading for um all of us the energy for all of us and it's the card number 13 for us so that comes down to a four you are laying the foundation so that when you go into 2018 you know which path you're going to take and i see you with your back to me and i see you looking at the road and then the lion is telling you chill out make a plan you don't have to react right now but make a plan follow that moral compass and move forward take that first step okay sometimes that's the hardest step there are many times many things to be found and uncovered from past experiences but it does not dictate your future okay your soul knows where you're going while your confidence grows so does your independence Leave all your emotional baggage in the past and backpack so your backpack is empty and ready to go. I think Pisces got the same card as you did. And I kind of feel like maybe this is the water signs way of saying, you know what? No more bullshit, okay? No more drama. No more all of this loom and gloom. I'm going to get my stuff. I'm going to unload my bag and I'm ready to pack new memories, new, new stories in there so that it's not as heavy. All right. Now, on a soul level, you have the card Poise. And I always feel like this is my Toyota. I got a new attitude card. Because she is like holy, like throwing her hands up. She's all like chilling out. It's attributed to the number 48, which comes down to the number 12, which comes down to the number 3. And that is about maybe partnerships, families, 
um, the trifecta of everything coming together to create the perfect moment for you. So being ready for good things. You can be assured that you're ready for anything right now. That's what it's saying. Just be ready for the good stuff, baby. In friendships and love, it's all harmonious. This is a beautiful place to be. This is where people want to be. In prosperity, you can take action now knowing you're ready to step into your power. And I think that's why you're the, you're the king of the jungle right now. You're like, you can't nothing hold you down. Uh-uh. You got to keep on moving. I feel like you got this lit up and ready to go. I so apologize for my voice, guys. It is like getting worse and worse. This will be my last video since it is about midnight and I got to be at work pretty freaking early in the morning. So with all of this energy coming in mentally, physically, spiritually, and through your power animal. Now your power animal is not your totem animal, okay? This is just your guide for the month. So if you want to take a deeper look into what the lion might mean to you, Google power animal lion and see the parts that you want to pull out and give to you. Some of y'all might just be doing something different with your hair. Shit, Leos love changing their hair. But the thing about the lion is he is the king. Scorpio, you need to rule your life. Don't worry about what anybody else says. Don't worry about what anyone else does. This is about you shape-shifting, initiating, and creating a brand new world for yourself to be poised for perfection. All right, we will be using the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. Let's go ahead and bless the deck. I have pre-shuffled, but we're going to shuffle like a fam. All right, Saints to Till bless these cards and show us the energy that you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of December. Give us all clear, concise messages and anything else you feel is important for us to know. Really? And it was a six, but it felt like way over there. It's a two. So this is going to be about partnerships at somebody from your past because I got a six and then a two. Someone from your past, possibly um, a partnership, a relationship, some kind of duality and possibly even a contract. So some of y'all might be moving into new positions. All right. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. What we have ahead of us is the moon upright with temperance reversed. So this is telling me that this full moon energy is might going to throw you off a little bit, throw you a little bit off balance. This is also going to illuminate some things in your life that maybe you weren't ready for people to see. However, don't worry about this being ungrounded. Ain't nobody really grounded in this world, okay? We all struggle in this area. However, the moon is telling you to seek his guidance follow his path be very aware that there's danger ahead so it is important to get grounded it doesn't mean you have to have it immediately but work and do what you can do to get there so if that means taking a rest sleeping more like the lion or just shape-shifting the situation into what you want it to be okay give it a couple go-throughs do 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 all right, so I rolled a six again. First position is the six of uh, pentacles. Six might be a very important number for you. Ace of pentacles. Are we dealing with an earth sign? Two of wands, ten of wands, <laughs> eight of wands. Earth and fire is solely coming in for you. Overall energy is this air sign that is like messing with you. Could possibly be the Aquarius because I have the magician looking at me from the bottom. However, in the past, the help came through. It was good help, was really, really good. Got you back on your feet, put you in position where right now you feel like you are the ace of disc. You are rolling, baby. You are star seeding it up. You are seeing things for what they are and you are manifesting what you want and desire. The reason why I say that is because you needed assistance to get to where you're at. The person who helped you might have been an earth sign, possibly a Taurus, but it's like they've helped you see things from a different perspective because the hidden influence or like what's hiding in the background is this two of wands energy. And the two of wands is similar, like having to make a decision. You're like having to look at this and it's almost similar to this exploration card. You're like looking at the two of wands and saying, okay, I can take plan A or plan B. I don't know about plan A because it looks like I'm gonna be overpowered, but if I take plan A, I'll be in more control. So this is about making an independent decision in order to proceed through the month, okay? That independent decision is being 
being heavenly influence and your advice is the ten of wands when i look at the ten of wands i often ask myself is there a baby being born because pazuzu is the protector of children although he's a winged demon in this deck he is neither good nor bad so it's it's almost like if you're birthing a dream you're birthing a child whatever you're giving birth to just know that it is highly protected even though you feel oppressed even though you feel like it's heavy the thing is you have to make this independent decision and i see a lot of action towards the end of the month um all the way to the ten of wands but you have to make this decision do i proceed or do i stop now the thing is the overall the the outcome is the eight of wands reversed and i kind of feel like you're going to have to like watch the way you're communicating because you see how he's looking at the ten of wands but then he's looking at the eight of he's looking at the other eight so I feel like we have to think about the nine of wands just by the way that Aya's uh, messenger is kind of looking at the 10 and the eight. We got to imagine the nine there. The nine is where Gilgamesh has the head of Humbaba in his head. You have got to fight for what you want, Scorpio. It is not fair for other people to get credit for what you do or to take from you, okay? But you have to make that conscious decision to move forward. Some of y'all are going to decide to go on this new road or this new path solely by yourself. You will not take these other people with you that did not help you when you needed them. Now, some of y'all may be dealing with a air sign who is like not talking to you or talking shit about you. One of the two, right? Because he's reversed. And when A is re era is reversed, it is never a fun time. Era is the god of war, okay? He's the prince of arrows. He's the one who ended up marrying Arishkagal and he became lord of the underground, okay? Now, I kind of want to see what era has to say for you. Is it from this deck? No. Is it from this deck? No. No, I'm rolling a lot of fives, so I feel like it's something that you need to clear karma with. Mm. Okay, it's coming from the Sacred Power deck. So, Era, it, and you, you're you legit, like, whoa, not trying to hear it. Like, I really feel like you're just like, whatever, I don't want to hear it, it's not a big deal, I'm checking it with this. Okay, so it's about trusting your intuition. So there's somebody around you, okay? And I kind of feel like they're shooting at your finances, shooting at what you're starting. They don't want you to have a good start, but you need to trust your intuition as you move forward. Now, remember the way that line was looking at us and as you're looking at the road. So I kind of feel like this third eye energy that's coming through needs to be tapped into in order to get the action. So now you have the financial backing, but do you have the action? Do you have the movement? Do you have the groove that you need to push forward? Because remember, we're at the 10 of wands as the advice is like you're super, super heavy and the advice is to just let all those sticks go which leads us to the eight of wands reverse things holding up. So I would say like if somebody comes and offers to help you, you need to trust your intuition to make sure that's the person who's supposed to help you. Because I don't know if everybody who says they want to help is truly there to help, but just to say that they were there to help. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they want special credit. I'm trying to see if we can clarify that eight. Oh goodness, the sacred power deck is on fire for you today. Usually it's been, um, the wisdom of the oracle, but sacred power is like ready to come out for you. And it's about your soul's journey. So this is a lesson that you have to learn. This is like looking at your past in order to understand your present and understand what's happening. So you're journeying, you're going through all this and you're at a, you, you're at a standstill because the eight of wands is reversed. So it's very important that you look at this and you make that decision of how you want to proceed. Because if you look at this right here, all these cards show you ready to go. So you have the money that you need. You have the support that you need. It's about putting it into action. Don't get scared at the end because at the end of the month, you stop what you're doing. You're afraid. You're like, oh, no, I don't think I can do this. But the truth of the matter is your intuition has already been leading you throughout the month. All right. And that is your read, Scorpio. Wow. <laughs> that was really, really quick. Um, let's see if we want to clarify. Let's clarify this Ten of Wands for your advice. I want to go with this deck. Thank you.
Your advice is to build the foundation. So during this time, you're going to meet somebody. This person is going to be very important and very crucial, whether they're a lover, whether they're a friend, whether they're just somebody to help you start building the foundation. They're going to be there and you're going to know that they're a very important person in your life. Now, on the prosperity end, this is you laying the foundation you have put in the work and now it's time to reap the benefits. So trust your intuition that yes, this is a journey. Yes, you're going to have to move around and yes, you have to be willing to communicate, but communicate effectively. Okay, so on December 22nd, Saturn is returning to Capricorn and I pulled a special card for you to represent the karmic energy coming in with that. And it is Mount Tai. And if you look at Mount Tai, we're going to be reading from the bottom. So right there where that dragon and that yin yang sign is. And this is all about achievement. So I feel like Saturn is kind of positioning itself for you to start looking at all your achievements. Remember, we're going through the soul journey. And I don't know if I gave you enough information on soul journey. But when I think about the soul journey... I think that this is a lifelong lesson that you're going to carry with you for a while. I forgot who else got this, but this is about learning from your experiences and understanding your Akashic records and, and understanding that events, births, deaths, and marriage and other life events can be reflected upon any time, okay? Right now, you're experiencing a life lesson, and while you may be unable to see a way of out of your circumstance right now, this will pass and you will soon be shown the reason for recent events. You're about to co-create a beautiful life with new perspectives. You're about to see life very differently is what, what that's really coming out to be. Now, Mount Tai is all about achievement in Shandong, China. I'll be reading to you from the bottom of the book, well, from the lower part, and what you've learned about duality, that's the question. See that Tajitu, the yin and the yang symbol on the card that represents perfect balance and reflects the necessity to live fully. If we only listen to one part of the story that God is male, for example, or our life is in balance, dark and light, moon and sun, death and life are some of the yin and yang paired energies. There are no right or wrong elements. How do you perceive the energy of the dragon? So in the Eastern world, the dragon is wisdom, it's strength, it's like super, super positive. Whereas in the West, it's like super negative. We kill them, we slay the dragon in order to save the princes. And maybe you need to bring some dragon energy into your life to burn through obstacles and fire you up to reach your goals. So this is like for motivation to finish this lesson that you have to learn. I kind of feel like the universe has blessed you with the money or the financial backing or the people to support you, but they want you to put it into action. The way you're going to do it is trusting your intuition, laying the foundation, and going through the process okay now to advance spiritually you must understand the concept of yin and yang and bring the both into balance so that's almost what's happening we have to work with our divine femininity and our divine masculinity and as we do that we proceed and we stop looking at things as good and bad all the time we can build a firm foundation for our soul to prosper and learn the lesson that you came here to do all right, Scorpio, I kind of feel like you um, get given the short end of the stick all the time because people always think Scorpios are so crazy. My daughter's a Scorpio. She's a little bit um, emotional, but I'm just as emotional, I would say, um, and I'm a Leo. The thing is that I've noticed about what you have going on is everything's going to flow really, really great until the end of the month. And I think that's when you have to put this whole idea together of where your soul wants to go and explore. Where are you going to want to go? Because right now you're set up for it. This is the initiation phase. You are shape shifting into it and you're going with the strength of the lion. Okay. Okay. So that is your read. We're going to go into your sacred stone, which is the ruby for passion, courage, and consciousness. This is one of the more powerful stones in terms of releasing and raising energy. It works strongly with sexual energies and awakens a passion for living, creating, and expressing. Ruby works with fiery energies and can help bring deeply held anger and resentment to the surface. Combine it with clear course and it can help dissolve long held blocks and obstacles to growth. It stimulates the base chakra, the Muldahara, and raises the Kundalini energy. This might be a month where you're like super um, hypersexual, okay? Like you're just really feeling that sexual energy because of the root chakra, okay? It encourages bliss, positive outlook, and relationships, and it transforms the energies to express to do, um, unconscious expression to directed purposeful and protective capabilities. 
Now, on a physical level, it stimulates fertility and balances the menstrual cycle. It stimulates the adrenal glands, kidneys, and spleen, and it relieves depression, anger, and resentment. Drawing this card indicates that life will soon be filled with passion and bliss. Try to release negative anger and heavier unconscious emotions and seek your bliss. Go after what you want. Put those ruby red slippers on. Wear a lot of red this month, okay? If you're trying to work with your root chakra, work with that red. If you're trying to open up your throat chakra, wear a lot of blue. Eat blue fruits and vegetables. I think it's there's only blueberries, honestly. But that way you can speak it into existence. What, I, what I'm really pulling from you this month is this is a month that you're planning and putting everything into motion and things are getting financially backed up for you for you to go ahead and do that. All right. So Scorpio, that is what I have for you for the month of December. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. And if you're interested in a personal or private read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.